I'm going to take advantage of these browns that are up here, and they are a warmer brown. So notice out of the mass that I've already created for the cooler browns back in there, these are warmer. So I'm going to come off of this and just warm it a tad. I'm not going to let it get too warm, but I want it to be distinct enough from those back there. And I'm going to start with those. And notice there's a lot of dark green. That'll come in later. So I need a brush for that. And the green isn't green at all. So I'm going to start with black. And I'm going to add something along the line of blue or purple to distinguish those greens from the greens that will come forward that will be very green. Now, when I've got this purple that's going on back in here, I'm going to double load the brush with a little bit of uh, something darker. I'm going to use purple and blue, something darker, and maybe a little more brown. So now what I want to do is just carve these edges, okay? So here we go. So I'm going to double load this. And as I do so, I come across like this with the double load. Notice how I'm creating the mesas all at once. Making sure I come in here properly. As I come down here, I'm creating some more, you see. Oh my gosh, how easy is that? I know you get tired of hearing me say that. And now the water brush keeps this down here a little soft. And my blue brush is now going to help me neutralize that into something a little bit more. Naturally, I want a soft edge here because we're still working with that cloud. So here's the water brush softening that edge, you see? Now, I'm not going to get too carried away with all this stuff because there's a tree in the corner, see? So I don't have to really work too hard. But I don't want any white behind the tree, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. All right, because there are, no, there are no whites there. But I wouldn't mind a little variety. All right, now, that looks pretty good. For a basic mass. Notice there's some white lines as well as some dark lines. So a thirsty brush allows me to vacuum some of those out. Ellie, are you watching that? Mm -hmm. As I do so, I'm going to create a little perspective. All I'm going to do is take advantage of this darker brush. Lots of ferro to keep the water from running too far away from me put some of these greens up here while they have a chance to interact and blend in. <coughs> More of this decoration can happen later. I just want to get some of it in while it's still soft. And once again, I need a water brush. Sort of, not really a water brush, it's just a damp brush. But I want to lose some of these inner edges because the outer edge is where I want the hardness, the inner edge I want to blend away.
squirrel a few of these in there. Could use a little bit of foliage here and there. I don't want the foliage too hard back in there because it's in the fog. It's got to draw enough attention to itself to reinforce the foliage that will be up front. I don't worry about these edges too much. They can be matted out. And that's pretty good. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Let's carve this edge a little bit better. And I like these contours, they're beautiful. It's where we'll see a lot of interest. I have to be careful. Later on, we'll get some more geography in there and some topography that will make sense. Okay, good.